Hey guys, I'm Anastasia and welcome to Happy Belly Fish channel. Today we are cooking the fastest, the easiest, one of the tastiest and the most healthiest breakfast ever. Buckwheat pancakes! When I was recording this recipe, I specifically noted the time, how long it took me to make these pancakes. Really from start to finish, from the moment that I started mixing the ingredients to the moment that I could eat it. It was really just 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes 56 seconds if you want to be precise, so almost 11 minutes. I hope it's okay that I rounded this number. What I want to say is that it's extremely fast and it's one of the favorite breakfast options in our house. If you've been following us for a while, then you know that we especially love traditional recipes. This recipe is not as traditional as such, it's kind of a fusion recipe. However, I do use a very special ingredient, the one that I grew up with, buckwheat flour. You know, I'm from Russia and buckwheat is our staple. So over centuries we really perfected the art of cooking with buckwheat and buckwheat flour. I really believe that it's a very underrated superfood nowadays because it's extremely nutritious, it's also gluten-free. To make it even more nutritious, you can also add different nuts and seeds and dry fruits to the batter of these pancakes. So really there is no limits for your imagination. Okay, let me show you the ingredients of these delicious pancakes. Our very basic ingredients are a cup of buckwheat flour, also a cup of milk. You can use any plant-based milk, but I found that coconut milk and almond milk work the best. Then we will also have one teaspoon of soda. Try to find natural soda. It's very important to what the quality of the product you use. And I will add about half a spoon of cinnamon powder. Well, keep in mind that cinnamon powder can be very strong, can be very mild. Mine is freshly ground, so it has a very strong cinnamon flavor. But you can increase or reduce the amount of your spice depending on the quality of your cinnamon. Then we will also add a tablespoon of coconut oil. It should be melted, but it shouldn't be cooked oil. And a banana. Instead of banana, you can also use applesauce or any other pulpy fruit sauce, if you wish. If you guys ever made any pancakes in your life, then you probably already guessed the recipe. You just mix all the ingredients together. You will first start with the dry ingredients. So we'll take flour, we'll add to it baking soda, and then we will also add cinnamon powder and just mix it simply with a spoon. And then we will move to the wet ingredients. We will add our milk, you actually don't even need a whisker for this recipe, you can just do it with a spoon, believe me there will be no lumps, the bucket flour dissolves perfectly on its own. Then coconut oil, and the bananas. And now we just have to mix it all. See, here is your batter. It's a little bit kind of sticky and stretchy, and this is exactly how we want it. Now we just have to fry our pancakes. You can take any favorite pan of yours, you can use a non-stick or you can simply grease your pan with a little bit of coconut oil. Actually, if you do that, it will add a little bit of extra flavor, coconutty flavor. And it tastes really nice, if you like that coconut oil flavor, of course. And now we just add the pancakes with a spoon. Let's not make them too thick, because we want them to cook very fast. And please accept my apologies, I'm not perfect with shapes, if you want to have perfectly shaped pancakes, you're gonna use some special equipment for that. I have no patience for equipment in the mornings, so my breakfast is really simple. Whatever shape works, it works. Okay, it takes maybe a minute or two for them to get ready. You can just check, flip and check if it's cooked on one side and then when you think that it's brown enough, you flip it. So we flipped it now and it will take another couple of minutes for it to be ready. Trust me, it cooks inside perfectly and I'll show you at the end of the video how perfectly fluffy and nice they are. 
cook it on a low to medium flame. Don't put the flame too high because then they can be a little bit sticky inside. And this is definitely not what we want. I hope guys you're enjoying this recipe. If you do, please push the subscribe button and also that bell on the subscribe button so that you get our notifications as soon as our new recipes are up. Every Thursday we treat you with a new delicious video. Don't miss that. The amount of the ingredients that I showed you was enough for nine beautiful pancakes. Now they're ready and it's time to serve them. These pancakes are perfectly fluffy and you don't need a single egg for this. Look at this, it's amazing, it's so soft and so tasty, so nutritious. You don't necessarily need an extra sweetener, but if you like it extra sweet, you can add some coconut sugar or some maple syrup in your batter or you can simply drizzle some maple syrup on top when you serve it. Enjoy your pancakes! And don't forget to check happybellyfish.com. Happy Bellyfish is an online healthy cooking school where we have instructors from all around the world bringing your traditional knowledge about healthy cuisines.